How's it going everyone? My name is Potato and welcome back to another GTA Retro video. Today we're going to be going over, covering, talking about, and looking back at one of the biggest and most famous mysteries in the GTA series and that would be the Ratman of GTA 4. Now before we get started with the video, I would just like to say if you guys do go on to enjoy this retro themed content and would like to see more like it, be sure to leave a like and I want to challenge you guys. I want to say if we can reach 1000 likes on this video, I will upload another mystery video covering the San Andreas Bigfoot mystery. So uh, if we can reach 1000 likes, I will have that out and uploaded. But you guys got to help me out, of course, in doing so. It takes less than a second to leave a like. So uh, if you can do that, that would be greatly appreciated as well as be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That way you never miss out on an upload. But with all that said and out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So the Ratman of GTA 4, uh, this whole mystery essentially uh, started after GTA 4 was released shortly after with an image that was uploaded to the internet which I have up here on the screen. Now this image, you can see it has two things. It has a player and in front of the player there is what looks like an NPC character model of course but if you look at his face closely you can see it does look like this character model has the face of a rat. Now I want to say that I believe this is the only known image of the rat man uh, from GTA 4 that we have anywhere. There's no video evidence or video footage that we have out there capturing uh, this rat man and there's no other images out there. Now uh, I'm not gonna say that this image is 100% real and I'm not gonna say the rat man is 100% real. Uh, regardless if it's real or fake it's still a very interesting mystery inside of the GTA series and GTA 4. So the rat man is described as of course being a, a literal rat man who is a very tall, half-rat, half-man creature, of course. Now, it's said the Ratman will kill and attack the player at any given time when the player least expects it. So, it, the Ratman supposedly dominates the subways of GTA 4, and the, the subways are, are just extensive. They, they go around the whole map, and honestly, they're really creepy. I've always gotten creeped out uh, going down here in GTA 4. They're very dark, you don't see much. Uh, so uh, the subways are very interesting. Now, there are many different, or there's different evidence pointing towards the fact that there could be a Ratman in GTA 4, and uh, some of those appear on TV in GTA 4. If you ever sit down inside of your apartment and watch TV, there is a Weasel News segment that will say uh, that the mayor is going to flood the subways due to a rat infestation. So uh, that could be pointing towards the fact that the Ratman does appear in GTA 4. There's also a computer website called Craplist, and if you go to the job section of this website, there is a Human Lab Rats article that you can read up on, and uh, they're, they're just overall an advertisement for it. So uh, that's very interesting as well. Now, like I said, it's said that the Rat Man appears when the players least expect it, and it's also said that the Rat Man is faster than the NRG 900, which is one of the fastest vehicles in GTA 4. And it's also said that he can appear and disappear whenever he wants. So, uh, with this Ratman being super fast, of course, it would be very, very hard uh, to capture any sort of video evidence of him, or, or video footage, excuse me, or even uh, an image. So, that's what kind of leads me to believe that this image could be faked that we are given. Uh, it does look real, as I said. However, it could just be a clever Photoshop job, or it could just be a PC mod simply with so that someone took a screenshot of or an image of with a very low resolution camera to make it look real. So, uh, also somewhere on the map, there's said to be graffiti uh, on a wall that happens to look like a man with a rat's head. So, uh, if the rat man is real, it does look like Rockstar has maybe tried to uh, hint out to us that there is something out there. Now, lastly, I believe there are different... Uh, just around the map and scattered out mainly in the subways, but also on an abandoned hospital roof inside of GTA 4. There are traces of, quote-unquote, the rat man's blood, which are puddles of orange, uh, dried-up looking blood. So, uh, that's very interesting. Now, I want to say one more cool fact is that in GTA 5, the rat man is rumored to appear in the sewers. And you could hear, and the reports of this are on a much smaller scale, but... Uh, he can be, be found under freeways, near hobos, or in the sewers. And in the sewers, it's also said that if you shoot at the rats that you see down there, you can hear a distinct, deep laughing sound. So, uh, that's very creepy, and this laughing sound is said to come from a locked-off area that you cannot access inside of GTA 5. So, uh, that's really interesting. Maybe Rockstar threw that in there as a hint, an easter egg, towards the Ratman of GTA 4. 
Uh, but with that said and, and out of the way, I believe that's really just about it. Of course, if you guys did enjoy the video and would like to see more content like it, be sure to leave a like. And if we could go for 1,000 likes, I will upload a video of the GTA San Andreas Bigfoot Mystery. Now, with all that said out of the way, I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy, have a safe one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.